Hello, all of my sleepy bears! My name's Chronically Blue, welcome back to episode 5 of Sonic Frontier's Final Horizon. Last episode, we were playing as Knuckles, and we got quite a lot of things and doodads and who's and what's it's and lots of seeds and Koroks, or Cocos, I should say, I apologize. Koroks is from Breath of the Wild, which is not a good game. But, enough of that. Uh, we are here playing as Knuckles today. And something that I found out was that when you go to the... Okay, so let me, let me breathe first. When you switch characters, how we went from Amy to Knuckles, when you do that, there's a message that comes up that says, Hey, you can start playing with this new character. Come back to this other character later. And I'm like, okay, cool. I tried to do that later on in, in like a future episode or so, and it does not it does not let us switch characters. So I'm kind of confused as to how they're going to do that in the future. But here we are trying to tackle the quote unquote ghost that I very much dislike. So due to us not having a lot of rings in the first place, we're not gonna be that great and eventually I'm just going to run away and be like you know what that's it there's no point I'm I'm far too weak for this not even gonna try but we are able to go around explore a little bit just get a little more skill points that we need in order to continue upgrading knuckles found a lookout Coco and potentially get far enough that we can play as tails in the next episode that'd be very nice so the best thing to do is to look at the different colored blocks. The fact that these are pink and yellow let us know that Knuckles is not really the best person for this. It's either Tails or Amy. Because Tails can fly, Amy has the triple jump, Knuckles can climb rocks and glide, and that's about it. Not a whole lot of fantastic stuff, but some of it's better than nothing. Now I did just find out uh, not at the time of this recording, but at the time of my audio recording, that there is a glitch very similar to Sonic Boom, where once you unlock the three, the three punch combo with Knuckles and the parry with Knuckles, uh, if you do the three punch combo, then once he does the uppercut, do the parry, and then do it again and again and again and again and again, you can get infinite height. Whether or not that is patched by the time you see this, or if it is patched by the time I record next, who knows? But I'm just letting you know that I just found out about it. Uh, will I use it? Probably not. I might use it just to show it off just a little bit. But for most of the stuff, it's... So some of it is difficult. I'm not going to act like it's not. But there is a good majority of the challenges that are already easily accessible just by getting to a higher level and then gliding around. You're going to see that a lot as soon as I get to play with Tails. <laughs> But for right now, we are just trying to get anything and everything that we possibly can. Unfortunately, due to us not really having a clear goal as to where we need to go, aside from the white marker, which isn't really helpful whatsoever, we are just going around seeing if there are any red cocos that we can use that we can obtain with Knuckles in order to get more skill points that we could use to upgrade Knuckles to the fullest, and just seeing what all we got. Now, unfortunately, I did confirm this in a later episode, unfortunately, but if you upgrade Knuckles or Amy or Tails using the uh, Seeds of Attack, Seeds of Defense, anything like that, or even the Cocos, they do not carry on from character to character. So if you really want to get everyone to max level, you're going to have to play as them individually, go around, find the Seeds that correspond to those characters, get them, talk to the Elder and or gentle coco get everything upgraded and it's just a bit of a whole ordeal now i understand it and i i like it while i also don't at the same time i do not know the length of this dlc i can tell it's going to be a little bit of length considering it's more than just five seconds <laughs> but it's it's something that if i just got the game and found this thing, then I would definitely be like, whoa, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. But that might also be why it has three additional save slots and one, slave slot, one save slot specifically for this expansion. 
And again, you do not have to pay for this. I, I'm pretty sure I brought that up previously. I'm just doing it yet again. You don't have to pay for this upgrade. If you get any version of Sonic Frontiers, either the regular or the digital deluxe version, you will get access to this. Now, there are a few circular cocos that we did not get with Amy, unfortunately. Once we get to play as Amy again, I'd be more than happy to go back and get those because I just like having a clear map that lets me know where everything is and makes it easier for me to find everything. So, I'm gonna do that as soon as we get to play as Amy again. But, uh, we're going to be switching characters quite a bit uh, in the future, of course. We're just going to be unlocking more and more of the map in order to get more and more skill points. And I checked as well. I checked to see if there's any trophies that went along with this DLC, and there is not at the time of this recording. I have not looked it up to see if there is any plans for it to be part of uh, any trophies or whatnot. But as of right now, there is nothing set in stone. So you don't have to go through and clear the map or get everything. There's nothing that says that you have to. It's just something that I would like to do just for my own satisfaction. Because I've already done that. I've already gone through and gone all the maps, done all the missions, did all the bosses on the boss rush mode, did all the stages on the stage rush mode. I have done everything that I possibly can because this is one of this is the only 3D Sonic game aside from Sonic Forces that I have 100%ed. I've gone through, gotten everything and it is very nice, but at the same time it does take a lot of energy. So if you're just if you want to just go through the game normally and not really focus on it, you absolutely can. There is very little that's telling you, hey, you have to go through and S-rank these levels. You have to go through and complete all these missions. There's very little telling you to do that. In fact, most of it advises you to not do it. <laughs> the main mission, which is the little white dot that appears and points you in the direction as well as the distance away from how far away the main mission is, that's really going to fluctuate. It's going to mostly point in the direction of a chaos symbol or tell you the person you need to speak with, this, that, or the other, it's a whole thing. If you've already seen my Let's Play, then you already know. But my main point is, if you do not feel like going through and doing it all, the game is not asking you to. It very, very rarely mentions it. Like, I don't think it mentioned it at all in my entire playthrough, but then again, that was 45 episodes ago. I already forgot what I had for dinner yesterday, so who knows? That is not exaggeration. No, wait, it is. I had chicken patties yesterday. I thought it was quesadillas. Quesadillas was the night before. So, with us solving the mirror puzzle, that unlocks a bit more of the map, as every mission does, which is nice that we got at least something. And a good majority of these missions are not character-based, but some of them are. Unfortunately, there's nothing that tells you that some of them are character-based. It's really trial and error, such as trying to run from one area to another in a very short amount of time. That's not really a Knuckles thing. You know what I'm talking about? Like that, That's not really Knuckles' forte. Uh, Tails, maybe. Maybe even Sonic if he's playable. But it's definitely not a Knuckles thing, and probably not an Amy thing either. But I don't know. I still have not found the uh, the, the Great Coco, I believe is what he's called, to use to take our Coco away and put it into speed. It'd be nice, but it's not gonna happen. Oh, well, it might in the future. I don't know. It, I, I've done... I, I typically do batches of videos at a time, and for this one, I just was not feeling up to it. I did not have the energy, did not have the uh, charisma, I did not have any of it in order to go through and record the audio while I was doing the gameplay. I do apologize, but that is what I'm here for. And it's a little easier for me, specifically, to record the gameplay one day when I'm not feeling up to it, then come back at a later time, and then do the commentary, so that way I can ensure that you are getting a very thoughtful commentary, as well as something that is not very scattered and all over the place and filled with a bunch of broken pauses. What we just got there is we got the debuff parry, where it will lower an enemy's defense 
after we parry their attack. That is going to be useful for guardians, regular enemies, this, that, and the other. However, I still believe that we are not powerful enough to take down any of the guardians. I feel that way because even with us leveling up our attack, we still don't do a lot of damage. I think that could just be because the Guardians are the Guardian Plus, they're not just the regular Guardians. And this is the final islands. By the time we get here with Sonic, we have them almost fully maxed out. So it makes sense that Sonic would be able to take them down with these, but with our other characters, not a whole lot, unfortunately. Like. It's going to take us a while to be able to defeat some of these Guardians with either Knuckles, Tails, Amy. So is that something that we are going to come back to? It's not something that we are going to focus on in this episode. But it is there if you really want to spend some time to go through and get it all. Now, here is a mission where three different points all across the map are lit up and you have to go to each one of them, step on the panel, and then go back to the other two. It gives you roughly four minutes to do this. 60, 120, 80. Yeah, a, a roughly four minutes, or about three and a half or so, give or take. Now that seems like a very generous amount of time. Even as you look at and watch it count down, you may think, oh, I have more than enough time. You don't. I promise you, you don't. No matter how much boosting and gliding you do, unless you've upgraded the speed, you're not going to make it. I apologize, that's just exactly what happens. So, it's kind of, um, is, is, is the correct word humility? Humility, maybe. Um, it's something like that, where it makes you realize, oh, hey, I can't do all this great stuff. It, it brings you back to being down to earth and like, oh, I can't do all these great fantastic things. I have to work my way up there. And that in and of itself is very, it's very helpful, at the very least to me, I see it as. Because it just reminds us of just how powerful we got Sonic to be at this point in time. Now, obviously, this is going to be a Tails thing. But, you know, we'll get back to that as soon as we get to play as Tails. So, just being made aware that, hey, we can't do all this fantastic stuff that we thought we could because we are not fully leveled up. It reminds us of just how powerful we got Sonic to be and just how fast we got Sonic to be. How strong, defensive, all this, that, and the other. And it just reminds you just how much we've progressed to make Sonic an unstoppable force that he is right now. You may, you may even call him a Sonic Force. Uh, but -uns. Sorry for that Sonic Prime joke, but -uns. I guess I really boomed on that one, but -uns. I'll go home, I'm sorry. Though I am feeling a bit thirsty, maybe it's from all the Sonic crackers, but -uns. Uh, <laughs> sure. I'm going around the world at Sonic speed, but -uns. And with the four of us here, we really are the Sonic heroes, but -uns. I'm I'm done. I promise I'm done. <laughs> Just had one after another after another after another. You may not like the jokes. I apologize, but that's just what happens when you live and learn. But -uns. maybe I really need to escape from the city. But -uns. I promise I'm done. It's just that when you get on a roll, you just got a rapid fire. It's like an avalanche. You just can't stop. <laughs> Uh, for any of those references that you did not get, uh, most of them are Sonic related, of course. The only one that I'm I'm pretty sure you probably did not get, if you are not a diehard Sonic fan, is a Sonic Crackers one. Sonic Crackers was a prototype game on the Genesis, it was a puzzle game, and it's not great, which is why it's just a prototype and never officially released, but there's a lot of people that like to make uh, mods and homebrews and this, that, and the other where you will be able to go and play it even if you have the Sega Genesis collection on the PC or any of the Sonic hacking contests that are available for computers as well. You might be able to find it online as a playable version. It's completely possible. Now, we like these rings. I don't know if we've talked over about this or not. 
but these circular rings are definitely very helpful. I don't have a great comparison to it, but meeting them with the correct character reveals a lot more of the map than just doing a regular mission. Uh, does it give us any skill points? No. Does it give us any seeds of power defense? No. It just reveals more of the map. And we can only do it with specific characters. So that it, it's helpful at the very least. It may not be the best thing ever, but it's still nice to go out of a way to go and do it so we can get a good overview of the map of Oranos Island as we were playing as the three amigos. Sorry. The th two amigos and one amiga. Because I know O is for male and A is for female. And if you didn't know that, then, you know, that's... That's not me trying to force any agenda on you. That's just literally the Spanish language. I took... Was it two or three? I, it might have been two. I, I took two Spanish classes. It might have been three. I'm not sure. I wasn't really focused. I was mostly just having fun making jokes with my friends. And then... Uh, body slamming everyone in Kahoot. So we found another ring over here that opens up just a little bit more of the map, reveals some more locations, and we're just trying to go and obtain as many of the circular ring cocos that we possibly can, not only for skill points, but also for the map, so that we're able to have a bit of an easier time just to see where we're going, because when we go through the original five islands, at any point in time we can access any of the missions just by running into them and then solving them and then it brings up a little square, typically a grind rail as well, and it will take us very close to the next area where we would need to go. And that still happens here as well. Once you complete a mission it will activate a grind rail and that will assist a little bit, but only if you are playing as the correct character. Now, we don't do this right. I'm just gonna lay in it right now. We completely mess this up. I just, you gotta do it in the correct order. If you don't, it'll go away. And after I mess it up one whole time, I'm like, you know what, that's it, I'm moving on. We are just gonna find something else to do. And hey, look, spring. Now, one of the things that I found super unique was that, redundant, of course, but each character has their own abilities. Like, Knuckles and Amy can homing attack. Knuckles can glide, of course. And he has powerful punches. But there are some characters that are unable to homing attack. And when you find that character, you're going to be very frustrated. Because we, we've been spending so much time doing homing attacks and uh, light speed dashes through the rings that it just, it just feels like second nature at this point. But there are a lot of characters that cannot light speed dash or do a homing attack, and it is very annoying. But it, it, it's there to show us that these characters are not just stand-ins for Sonic. They are their own characters, they have their own pros and cons, they have their own abilities and weaknesses. And I like that. I don't like that we find that out by ourselves. But at the same time, if it just told me, hey, this person cannot do this, then I'm like, well, why'd you tell me that? That That's lame. I don't like that. So, again, it, it's a double-edged sword. I like it, and I don't like it at the same time. But I'm kind of... I, If I made the game, you know, coming from someone that's never made a game before, I don't think I would really change anything. Yes, it's great. Yes, it's bad. But I couldn't imagine any other way around it. Now, as we've done so previously, we can use these green rings that we find around the map as knuckles in order to break through some purple barriers, some purple walls, and just get a bit of a speed boost. And it is helpful. It's not the greatest thing. It's a little clunky, I will say. But it's better than nothing. I don't know, when I saw the gigantic rings, I just thought of Sonic Adventure with Tails in the action stages. That might just be me, or that might just be every single Sonic fan. I don't know. Maybe I'm too busy clinging on to Sonic Adventure and hope that they make a third one, or at least a remake of the first one in widescreen, so that way it can go along with Sonic Adventure 2 that we have on 
so many other platforms as is instead of needing to download mods so it looks beautiful but whatever it's not like i got on my soapbox or anything but anyway with us having quite a lot of skill points we can now activate the infinite glide now this is sadly only available when you have max rings once you have a max once you have max rings you can then do the glide and it will be infinite so shat Shadow, sweet goodness. Knuckles will have a like flaming barrier around him, and he will hold his altitude for a lot longer. And also be able to glide faster. So, some good stuff, but, you know, you really gotta have the max rings. Thankfully, if you forgot, you can do the... Uh, it's not the frontier. It's not the blue loop -de You know, we're just gonna call it the blue loop de loo You can do the blue loop de loo uh, a bunch of times in order to make rings appear. You know the blue loop, the thing that we use in order to activate the missions and posts and such like that? Which you get by holding triangle on the PlayStation version, Y on the Xbox... No, hold on. Yeah, Y on the Xbox version and X on the Nintendo Switch version. And if you're playing on PC, I apologize, I have no idea because that one really depends on what your settings are. But, you know, it just gives you a bunch of different options, and I try my best to be as inclusive as possible to all the different consoles, because I forget w what it was, but I was like looking up a how-to video on how to do something in a game, and I was like, oh, if you're doing this, press the X button. That's not helpful. On all three consoles, there are three different X buttons and three different locations, and they all do different things. So I'm really confused right now. What do I do? But <laughs> I, I digress. Now this part's going to be a little unique. Uh, I believe that we went over this the last episode, and we had some difficulty with it. So it's it's really weird how to describe this. Instead of going through and trying to activate every single post. Just activate three in a, in a line, and then just jump off, and you will see platforms appear. I know it doesn't make sense. It also didn't make sense for me when I was doing it. So, just giving you my honest opinion here. Just go through there, press the triangle button after you unlock Knuckles. Uh, yeah, that thing. The, 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 circle, the circle swoosh. And uh, with that, you will hear the sound of platforms forming, actually, below you. Uh, wherever they are. Here we get hit. And hey, look, there's a platform there. What? Yeah, so that is how we get the information. Oh, hey, platforms form. Once platforms form, sweet goodness. It, uh, redundancy. Thy name is chronically blue. The platforms form once we activate enough of the posts. So you don't have to go through and try to activate all of them. You don't have to go through and try to collect all the rings. You totally can if you want to. You're not gonna get far. So, just letting you know. And there's nothing saying you have to go through and get every single post in the game. So, just friendly remind about that. But Knuckles is also really good at taking damage and falling and gliding with style. But we can tell we're not gonna make it, so we're just gonna go ahead and power drive down. It's okay, Knuckles. You'll get it next time. Right, so we are back, and we are going to do it the proper way this time. Third time's a charm. Or, third time's a charm me. See what I did there? Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, we're gonna do it the correct way this time. And I do enjoy how they have different abilities to activate the force, for lack of a better term. Yeah, you can actually see some of the platforms forming right there. Like, Amy has one where... I forgot what hers is, unfortunately, but... Uh, Amy has one, Knuckles has one, I'm assuming Tails has one, and they're all unique, they're different... And they all work very lovely as well. Now we are going to take the time just to destroy all these cannons, because why not? I'm sure there's something there for destroying all of them. I don't see why there wouldn't be. And 
break this little box as well, just to get some more attack seeds. Now that we are here with the post, we're going to activate them as well, or try to. Yeah, some of them require specific motions and specific attacks. It's weird, but I kind of get it at the same time. I just wish it told us, because that would be very helpful. Instead of us just fumbling around being like, uh, 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 I don't know what to do. But I, we will launch out through the cannon and finally find a chaos mode with Knuckles. Hi, Tails. Knuckles will be playable later. Feel free to progress through the game and return to Knuckles when you want to continue their stuff. So yes, we are now playing as Tails. We have to unlock the side loop again, but it does give you one skill point just so you're able to activate it. Which, at that point, why not just to have it automatically activated, but whatever. I guess it just wants us to know that we have the tree available, I guess? So, Tails can fly. Uh, he can boost, do a double jump, do a regular jump. Why that's a ability, I don't know. A parry, a debuff parry that will decrease their attack. A wrench attack, as well as a super wrench attack. Uh, sorry, a charge wrench attack. Now we can throw the wrenches in air or on ground. We have the side blaster. We can press triangle to shoot a ball of light that would do a side cloop. That is pretty cool. Uh, we also have a few other things as well, such as the spin dash, of course, the spike stomp, where Tails pulls a giant spike out of thin air to smash stuff. We have the Cyclone Boost, which we can do with Max Rings. Remember that from Sonic Adventure 2? And the Cyclone Cannon. Also requiring Max Wings. So, Max Rings. Did that work? Yeah! I bet I can bypass that thing holding the emeralds by accessing cyberspace. Yeah, it's possible. So it puts us right here in front of this mission, where we have to get across as fast as possible in six seconds. Uh, spoiler alert, we're not going to do that. Just because Tails is not fast enough, as you are going to see here. Even with flying, even with boosting, we are not fast enough to get anywhere near there in the amount of time you're testing us to. I know, it's lame, it's dumb, it's boring. I don't know what you want me to say. I didn't make the game. I'm, I'm just playing it for y'all. Now, with the cooker that we talked to, we were able to activate the spike stomp so that we're able to activate some switches and buttons that we need to in order to progress through the game, as well as to do just some of the missions that are available. Now, why they're having us do tutorials of this stuff that Sonic can do, I'm not sure. But, yeah, I guess better safe than sorry. That's what I'm trying to think. Maybe that's just how they're doing it. Like, hey, we did all this with Sonic moves, so let's do it with the other three. It's not bad, it's just not necessary. But we did find another Lookout Coco, which is going to be used for a plot device actually later on. So us finding them all about right now is helpful, but not necessary. Uh, in fact, when we go to the map, you'll see in the left corner that there is a Lookout Coco counter where it says the number that we have out of two. We only really need to find two. <laughs> but I'm sure as we go through the game, uh, the amount will become higher and higher so that we will need to most likely defeat Guardians to activate or unlock the Lookout Cocos. Or just more missions, one of the two. Something happened. But we get some more skill points from the Yellow Coco here. And after giving it a second to load, we can see that we can activate the wrench attack. We throw a wrench a short distance. That's it. It is the wimpiest throw I've ever seen Tails do in a Sonic game. So, <laughs> with that being said, uh, <laughs> yes, ha have fun there, Tails. Uh, 
Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Goodbye, all my CP bears.